Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I'm back again, I hope you're okay. I thought I'd start doing some grocery hauls for you so you can see what I actually buy. And also to go along with it this week, I thought I'd do a what I ate this week too. Now I'm actually starting the week on a Tuesday. Because yesterday was January the 2nd and the bank holiday to make up for New Year's Day. So to me I sort of feel this is the start of the working week. So what I'm going to do this week is sort of a what I ate this week Tuesday to Sunday. Does that make sense? Just so you can see what a sort of typical week looks like. Although this week really isn't typical week because I'm only actually at work one day. I'm at work tomorrow which is Wednesday. And then because I only work, I've had to book today off because the nursery and the school are closed. So I'm at home so I've had a delivery on a Tuesday which I don't normally do. So this is sort of a typical week but sort of isn't so. And I don't work Thursdays and Fridays anyway because I only work part time. And this weekend is actually Daniel's third birthday party so you can see what we do for a birthday party as well. When I do the what I ate this week so I'll show you what I brought and then I'll put a meal plan up at the end of the video for you to have a look at. So let's get going. So if we start right at the back I've brought six pints of whole milk. You can see it there. Up on top here, you have to excuse me, I'm in a tight space filming this because my kitchen is a bomb site. I've brought some poppadoms and some naan bread. Two lots of naan bread. We'll use one lot tonight because I'm going to do a chicken curry. We've got Tesco's own version of Cocoa Pops, Cocoa Snaps, which is for the boys. I've got three boxes because they will inhale it. I've got two lots of the Tesco cheese and tomato pizzas. There's four in a pack. And then for a quick tea later on in the week, I've got Young's breaded cod fillets that are frozen. If we go back up to the again, I just brought some bog standard fag bit softener because we've run out. I've brought some more petty for the yogurts for Thomas and Daniel because they, they inhale these as well. I brought some Patak's Balti Spice Paste. We have already got some chicken masala paste that I brought over Christmas in, but I generally, I'm quite generous with that and I'll use like half a jar of portion as you'll see on my what I ate this week video and some hoisin sauce because I'm actually going to do a glazed gammon on Sunday for Daniel's party which I'm going to put on the blog it's a char siu great glazed gammon it's very nice and I will put the recipe for that on the blog hopefully next week and some fresh coriander to go with our curry tonight some chicken sliced edits which is what I actually use to make my curry with and then for a quick tea tomorrow night when I am actually at work I've got large stir fry mix of veg free range egg noodles and some Chinese stir fry sauce. That'll be our tea tomorrow night with some chicken breasts that I've already actually got in the fridge. i have just come up to the back to my store cupboard section, so a couple of extra packets of the Coleman spaghetti bolognese mix. It's not on the meal plan for this week, but I like to know we've always got some in stock so I can make spaghetti bolognese whenever I want to. Uh, it's in a minced beef and onion. This might look a bit strange, but I'm actually planning on making my own pie this week with some new pie tins I brought from Lakeland, which will be in my Lakeland haul. Late and sale haul that I'm filming later on this week. So, and uh, this is my attempt at making a quick pie filling. I'm going to make my own pastry with it. So, it is sort of a homemade pie, but I haven't got the time to make the pie filling. So, this is sort of my cheat, as it were. So, I'll let you know how that goes. And some marrow fat peas, because they're Stuart's favourite. A couple of tins of those. And a couple of tins of strawberry jam because the boys have it on their toast and I've also got a cake to make this week for Daniel's birthday which I will be using the jam to put in the and some more spaghetti so it's not on a meal plan this week but it's just to top up the, uh, the cupboard come around here uh, some Cornish cotted cream because I'm actually going to make some scones with some leftover dried fruit that I've got left over from Christmas so I'm going to have the cotted cream and the jam with my scones a mint and cucumber writer dip to go with the poppadoms for our dinner tonight. Uh, sage and Italian seasoning. I don't know how well you can see them. To top up the dried, spot, dried herb cupboards. Some potatoes to make active fried chips to go with the fish. A bag of brown onions because you can never have too many brown onions and I use them all the time when I'm cooking. Up the top here is a bag of grapes because... Thomas and Daniel between them will eat an entire box in one sitting. Uh, some chocolate orange minis. I actually thought I brought a chocolate orange, but obviously not. But that's a little present for Stuart because I actually don't like chocolate and orange together. Uh, some new potatoes to go with our minced beef and onion pies that I'm going to try and make. Uh, some chocolate mini rolls because the boys like having them for pudding. A 
if they don't have a yogurt so I've got two packets of them and if I just shove those over there for a second down here I've got packs of unsalted butter because I've got Daniel's birthday cake to make I've got four packs of it and then I've got four containers of passata which I'm not really using on this week's meal plan but I need to, to keep the cubs stocked up and did I say I've got the new potatoes I can't remember if I said them I've got some new potatoes to go with the steak pies I know they're not in season so please forgive me for buying Cypress ones so and that's it the total for that lot came to about 72 quid yeah, which sounds quite a lot but I brought some still covered stuff and that as well so I am going to try and cut down on my spending and part of my plan over the next few weeks is to actually declutter the kitchen and sort out the cupboards so I can find out what I've got in stock and hopefully my meal plan prices will reduce so that was about 70 quid and that was from Tesco's delivered I pay £6 a month for their anytime delivery plan so I hope you've enjoyed watching this grocery haul so stay tuned and I'll put the meal plan up at the end and I hope you enjoyed the what I ate this week as well which I will show you what I made with all this stuff so thank you very much for watching give it a big thumbs up if you liked and I would love you more if you subscribe so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon bye